guys, welcome back to my channel. Peace with Shah, I go by Shah Arshalanda. This video is low-key gonna be the end of my Vlogmas. I had two Vlogmas episodes, but I decided just to respect my body. I really feel like resting, and I didn't really feel like picking up the camera, and I just didn't, I didn't feel like moved to do it. I felt moved to rest, to be still, to reflect. And so that's what I ended up doing for the rest of December. And so I didn't like record Christmas or anything like that. I just enjoyed it peacefully. And I'm glad I did that. So this is basically gonna be the video that kind of just wraps up the year for this channel and for our time together. So unbeknownst to me, I actually, achieved a lot of the goals I set for 2023. There are some goals I didn't achieve and I want to share that with you to be transparent and just to make it known and to normalize the fact that sometimes we don't meet all of our goals and that's okay. So we are going to look over some of my 2023 goals, see how well I did on them, and then we're going to plan out my 2024. And if you are planning, if you're in the midst of planning, why don't you bring out your planner and plan with me as well? And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So for 2023, I broke my goals up into different categories. And I have my notebook that I used because at the beginning of this year, I was not using Notion. I wasn't using like a digital calendar or anything like that. I very much was a paper girl, which this year I'm doing a combination of both. But this year, before the new year, I'll be doing a combination of both. So these are my 2023 goals i'm in a nice cute little spread but anyway i broke my goals down into one two three four categories so i had personal health and fitness education and personal development and finances and for each goal i had about four to six goals i know moving forward i should probably keep them to about five to four goals each category just to not overwhelm myself like i said when you're trying to reach goals i feel like less is more sometimes so you can get really deep into those goals let's go ahead and get into some of my goals so for personal my goals were to make a connection at priority and i was really feeling a need to connect more with my family and friends and just reach out more and invite them more into my life i feel like that was really lacking last year and so that's something i wanted to improve on this year and that is something that I'm happy to say that I did achieve. I wanted to have consistent check-ins with my boundaries and feelings in my body. And this is a personal goal as well for my boundaries with myself. Like, am I respecting my own boundaries? Am I making sure that other people are respecting the boundaries that I've communicated with them? How does my body feel? How do I feel? So I essentially wanted to be a lot more mindful of my existence here on this earth and i'm happy to say that i also did that as well therapy helped a lot with this me just taking quiet time and listening to my body when i needed to rest helped a lot with this another goal that i had was to continue to build confidence all around i i achieved this goal i feel like one way to build confidence is to set out goals and actually meet them and to also celebrate yourself and remind yourself the things that you've done so that you know that you can do this you have done it and you'll continue to do it and you'll be confident in your ability to, to do so okay so another goal that i had was to expand my network and to make new friends i feel like this happened organically just by chance of my job and also I feel like it happened organically because a lot of people that I knew introduced me to other people that they knew so that allowed me to expand my network and to start to get to know people better so definitely will say I achieved that I wanted to travel alone and with friends and family I traveled a lot last year and I don't know if my bank account actually loves or hates me for it but my heart my heart loves me for it so we can say that I did do that I wanted to create more and while I created a lot of things that I shared with you all I also created a lot of things that I didn't share and I'm just proud of me not giving up on myself not giving up on my channel and still posting so I do think I achieved that and my last personal goal was to enroll in an art class I did not do that very sad about it I don't think it's impossible for me to do this i still see this as being something that i can do in the new year if it's something that i want to do so tbd on that we'll see if it's something that i get around to as it relates to health and fitness i wanted to create a workout routine <laughs> my workout routine was very sporadic this year sometimes it was very consistent but then i would get sick or it was very consistent and then i would get tired and overwhelmed so i would stop for a few weeks so it was just up and down it really ebbed and flowed which i think is normal and okay but in the future, I really would like to have a consistent workout routine. And if it just means that I go for a walk, I did something physical and I can be proud of that. 
Another goal that I had was to eat two to three times a day, even if I felt stressed, sad, or anxious. And I did do that. A lot of times my stress response are if I'm super anxious or sad, my response is to not eat, which is I know it's not healthy, but I just sometimes in am uninterested in food but I told myself regardless how you're feeling like take care of yourself and love yourself so fix yourself something to eat and I'm very proud that I did that this year I wanted to meditate weekly I did not meditate weekly and when I say meditate weekly I mean like intentionally sitting down and like focusing on a scripture focusing on a quote or focusing on my breath and my body I did not do that the way that I wanted to and that's okay we can look for to that in the new year Something else that I wanted to do for health and wellness was to create a wellness routine, so sleep, journal, vitamins. I'm proud to say I did do that. My goal this year was to help myself get more sleep. I have experienced insomnia so much in the past, and I found that getting back to a journal routine helped a lot with me being able to sleep because I didn't have so many things on my mind, and just taking vitamins, all these things like that just helped me feel overall good this past year. Okay, we're getting down to the last two categories. So for education and professional development, I wanted to have a headshot or get some headshots and revamp my online presence. And I did get new headshots. And when I was talking about my online presence, I was talking about more professionally. So I <laughs> updated my headshot on LinkedIn. I updated my profile, all those things. I wanted to read 15 books. I didn't get to 15 books i'm pretty sure i didn't i know i at least read eight i think i feel like i can confidently say i know i read five and i feel like there's some i probably forgot so i'm gonna say probably i read eight books i can't think of all of them at the top of my head but i know i read all about love i read a return to love i read the upside of stress i read the B final drum or battle shot i read the battle drum i read the distance between us i read the snowflower and the secret fan i know i read some other books that i just don't have in front of me right now i read hood feminism so i know i read a lot of books i just don't have them all in front of me right now to remember i also wanted to career prep research and secure a job i'm proud to say i did secure a job after my graduate program so i was very proud of that and i also wanted to learn two languages this did not happen i did not learn two languages at all <laughs> but i am trying to get back on board with this i have since started Duolingo with Spanish and French. Those are the two languages I formally have education in, as in having taken more than three classes in both languages. And so now I'm just on a mission to get some type of working proficiency with both of those languages. So let's see how that goes in the new year. Okay, my last section that I had, I wanted to pay off one to two loans. I know last year in 2022, I paid off a couple loans, but this year that was just not really a priority for me. I wanted to invest monthly in my Roth. So I didn't invest monthly, but I told myself that I'm going to start being more consistent with this goal. So I'm going to start this month in December, like before the end of the year, I'm going to go ahead and put some money there. I wanted to solidify three to five months of my emergency fund. This also didn't happen because I had a link in my bank account this year. Like I just spent so much money. And so because I was spending so much money, I wasn't saving a lot of money and my expenses essentially have increased since moving to a new place and a new city that is a lot more expensive than the city I was living in before. I wanted to create a travel fund. I did do that. I wanted to double or triple my income and I was able to do that, thank God, I'm so grateful for that. Last year in 2022, I worked multiple jobs, contractual jobs, um, and also just a steady part-time job on top of being a grad student and it was very exhausting and I prayed a lot and I'm just like, I just want to be able to replace my income with one job. And I was able to do that, so thank God for that. I'm very grateful for that. And to take care of my taxes, because I earned more last year than I thought I was going to earn, I didn't have as many taxes taken out that should have been, so I had a big tax bill. I'm talking uh, five figures, more than $3,000, a lot more than $3,000, so I had to pay that. And so like I was like, that was really annoying, but I'm grateful that I had it and it got done. So. 
those are all my 2023 goals. Now we're gonna sit down and map out our 2024. I'm gonna keep more or less these categories because I feel like they really work for me. I think they do a good job of spreading out the things that are important in my life. Okay, so here we are back in our Notion template. This is a template that I adapted earlier this year from someone else. And all these templates that I'm sharing are free, so I'm not sharing templates that I bought. So just wanna put that out there. So like I said earlier, I'm gonna keep my categories the same as I had them last year. So I have health and fitness, personal, finance, education, passion projects, and under that is my social and my content creation. And for each of these, I'm gonna go back and find a scripture or a quote for them. Whatever really resonates with me, I don't wanna to rush to do this. I just really wanna have some time to think about what is really speaking to me right now to put those um, alongside of these categories that I have. So let's go ahead. These are in no particular order. I just used the order that was already here and made some slight adjustments. So let's go ahead and start inputting our goals for each category. I'm gonna do this bullet point style. And at the moment, I still have more. I have more than five goals for a lot of these. So I'm just gonna write all them down right now. And then later on, like I, the more I think about it, you know, the next couple of days within the week, I might change my mind. And just with goals in general, it's okay if they change. It's okay if they're transient, if there's, they change or you just change your mind or you wanna do something different. Like don't feel tied to anything that you set out because a fool never changes once they get new information and realize different things. But a wise person does leave room for them to change or to adapt and adjust as needed. So just wanted to put that out there as well. Okay, so when it comes to health and fitness, I actually wrote these down, what will soon be my old planner in the notes section. Um, so I'm just gonna look to them as a reference so that I can type them in here. I have a lot of goals. So my first goal is basically consistent movement. That's the best way I feel like I can describe it. And essentially I wanna move at least five times throughout the week. So I said movement at least five times out of the week. It could look like anything. This could look like yoga, Pilates, weightlifting, the gym or at home. This could look like walking or running, whatever I'm feeling that day. I want to just cultivate or maybe revamp my self-care routine. I feel like I have a self-care routine, but I really want to spend more time just cultivating it to my needs and the ebbs and flows that we all experience throughout a month or a year. I want to consistently, ooh, spelling consistently, um, create menus for the week. And so this is something I used to do I feel like when I was in a much better space and I feel like I'm coming back to a very healthy space now is that I used to plan out my meals for the week. It's kind of like meal planning and create a menu and get very excited about it and it would be fun to cook things that I know how to cook and also to like at least pick one thing a week that's new and just incorporate it into my weekly menu. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And I also just want to research and utilize more natural remedies. Remedies and medicines. This is not to say I don't have faith in our healthcare system. Why can't I spell today? I absolutely believe in medicine. I think that it, people have done a lot of research on it. People have done a lot of work to find medicines that work for us. And so I believe in them and I will continue to use them, but I also am interested in just learning more about how we can heal ourselves and take care of ourselves with the natural things that God has provided for us on earth. So yeah, those are all my health and fitness goals. My personal goals, they're pretty long, but a lot of them I feel like are picking up off of the goals that I had last year, or 2023, that I'm gonna just continue to bring in 2024. So some of them I feel like won't be that hard. So that's why this is a little longer and not the average four to five goals that I generally recommend. And who knows, I may go back and like I said earlier, take some of these away, we'll see. Okay, so personally, I want to continue to connect with friends and family in 
with friends and family in person and virtually. So it looks like more FaceTime calls, more Zoom, more going to see people or like friend meetups or friend visits. I really want to connect with the people who may not live close to me, but who I love dearly and I want to maintain those relationships throughout the lifetime as best as I can. I want to establish a rest routine. Some days I'm really on my bedtime routine, some days I'm not. I feel myself teeter tottering towards the not spectrum. And so I want to come back to where I was so that I can make sure that I'm getting good rest. I absolutely notice a difference in the way I show up and my ability to recall information and my ability to talk coherently when I have good rest. So I want to make sure that I'm keeping that up this year. I want to celebrate more. I feel like there are a lot of things in my life that are amazing that I worked really hard for outside of my career, outside of my job that are worth celebrating that I just have been reluctant to celebrate. And I just think that we have so much in life to be grateful for and so many blessings that we should celebrate them and we shouldn't don't have to wait until some huge milestone to celebrate them. And I think I want to celebrate myself and find more meaningful and responsible ways to do so like you don't have to celebrate yourself always by like I don't know going on a shopping spree if that's what you want to do that's what you can do but I just want to be a little bit more creative in the ways that I show up for myself and celebrate myself and love myself so this is a goal I have personally I want to make new friends I feel like when you move somewhere new it's really hard especially as an adult I shouldn't say it's hard I don't want to say that because I don't want to like make my mind think that it's something I can't do because I know that I can do it. I feel like I'm pretty bubbly and I feel like I'm a kind person. It's like I'm very strong in my boundaries so I know what I want and what I don't want. And so I do think it's possible and I know it's possible for me to make and meet new people and to make new friends. So that is a goal I have this year is to make new friends. And I want to build a capsule wardrobe. In some ways, I feel like I have a capsule wardrobe. In other ways, I feel like there are things that are missing, are pieces that I want that I don't have in my wardrobe right now that I feel like will really speak to me and that I'll be able to use throughout years to come. And so I really wanna be very intentional about the things that I'm bringing into my closet. I had a recent video about a wardrobe clean out and getting rid of things I couldn't wear that I didn't really love, that I just picked up, that I were replicates, all these other things. And so I just wanna be very intentional and I wanna build what I would call a capsule wardrobe for myself. And the last goal here, I want to continue to transition to a more sustainable lifestyle. And I feel like I want to talk a lot more about this on my channel in the upcoming year. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. If you're interested in that, let me know what you're interested in and we can have some chats about it. Okay, so moving on into the finance aspect of my life. I, like I said, I just want to pay down some debt. We got student loan repayments started again, all this stuff. So I just want them gone. <laughs> And I don't have a number yet, but our percentage, but I do want to be very intentional about this goal and paying things down. So that's something I want to do earlier. I talked about how I spent more money than I saved this year. And so I was not at my goal of the emergency fund goal that I want. Ideally, I would love to have a year's worth of an emergency fund, but you know, I believe in being realistic and I believe that I think it can happen, but I don't want to just that be the only goal that I have and I not feel like I can live or do other things because I'm saving all of my money just so I can have meet this goal because that will result in a very miserable me. So instead, I just want to save at least, let's say 3.5 months emergency I feel like money goals can be very daunting for myself and for you, probably I feel like you could <laughs> relate to that as well. One thing I always try to remind myself is that I should just do what I can and be grateful for that and know that like anything I want can happen. Like me 
making more money last year than I've ever made wasn't by accident but it's also something I thought would be super hard to do but turned out not to be that hard so like get creative know that you can do it if you have certain money goals and like don't let a number scare you into thinking that it's not possible because it's possible anything is possible so I just want to say that just a little encouragement there I also want to I used to do sinking funds a long time ago and that is when I feel like I was very intentional with what every dollar went and then I feel like this year I was a lot more free which was fine because I got everything I needed to get done but I saw times where I was just spinning frivolously with no real intention and sinking funds really helped me to be diligent and intentional about my money so I want to start that again and for Example, I would have sinking funds for shopping. I would have sinking funds for gifts for people. So I want to start sinking funds again. I have another income goal. Um, just seeing what God has done for me last year and this year, I just absolutely believe that in the new year, anything is possible. So I do want to increase my income. I'm not sure if I'm going to share right now what that looks like, that number or that percentage, but I know that I can do it. So I'm just going to say increase income. And I also want to give more. I want to be one day <laughs> like a philanthropist and I feel like everyone's a philanthropist. Like you don't need to have millions and millions of dollars to do this or to be this, but I do want to be a lot more intentional with giving more and yeah, it just makes me feel good to know that like, okay, I have these resources and I can help someone else. Or if I'm like walking down the street and someone asks for money for me not to be like, oh, I don't have X, Y, Z, just to be like, yeah, sure, here you go. Like, it's nothing. Like, I want to be able to be that type of giver. And so increasing my income will help me to give more and it also help me with a lot of other financial goals that I have. So yeah, that's my last financial goal. Moving on to education and career. What I did not do last year, which I wanna do this year, and I know it's very likely that I will, I'm, pr I'm a pretty avid reader when I have the time to read, and I'm a, a pretty quick reader as well when I have the time to read. So I wanna read 15 books. That is a goal that I have, is to read 15 books. I wanna post, this is a big one that kind of scares me, not gonna lie, but it's not that hard. Like I wanna post on LinkedIn quarterly. What am I posting? I don't know what I'm gonna be posting on there. Maybe I'll just be reposting something someone else already posted, but I don't know, I've heard mixed reviews that some people saying LinkedIn is helpful, that LinkedIn helps them increase their like professional network, all these things like that. I don't know because I haven't really used it. I haven't really tapped into it. So I don't know. Maybe it's a place to be. Maybe it's not. But I do want to at least give myself a shot and try and to get out of my comfort zone. You know, I feel like that's how you grow is to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. So I want to post on LinkedIn quarterly. What did I say? Oh, I want to update or create, create slash update um, my CV and resume. Your CV is a much more elaborate history of your professional work history. And if you're in academia, also like presentations, posters, papers, teaching, things of that nature, resume, a much more condensed version and some sectors use CVs and some sectors use resumes. So I just wanna make sure that I'm keeping both of these up to date and that I have different versions of each one. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready, as one of my good friends always says. Okay, my last professional goal is to have intermediate proficiency, proficient, I have to really work on this because this is not okay, proficiency in Spanish and French. And my goal last year, or this year in 2023, I keep on saying last year because 2023 feels very much over to me, but today is still the 30th of December, so it's not over yet. But anyway, Last year, my goal was to learn two languages, which I have a basic understanding of both Spanish and French. In fact, when I was in French class, often I would be speaking Spanish. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I, anyway. Point is that I just want to improve my proficiency with both of these languages, and I know that I can, and I've already started with Duolingo and friends. So, 
that's that. Let's move on to the last category, which is here term passion projects are social and content. Oh my gosh, I have been having this goal for a long time. It's like every time I get consistent, I just stop. And I want to stop doing that. But I want to have more, which I know this is very doable. I just have to be consistent, right? I have to be consistent, post things that people wanna see, be a lot more engaging, yada yada. But I want to gain more than 5K subscribers. I think I have like 3,100 right now, which I'm very proud of. And thank you all for being here. So I want to gain more than 5K subscribers. I want to post my poor blog. You know, and I told myself, this is the last year I'm paying for my blog if I'm not gonna post consistently. If I'm not gonna post consistently on my blog, what is the purpose of me having this space on the internet if I'm not gonna utilize it? It's wasteful and it's not okay. This is me talking to myself. So I wanna post consistently on my blog. I'm gonna figure out what that means for me. Is that once a month? Is that what consistency means for me? Because maybe I just need to decrease my expectation to have some type of consistency. So I'm gonna figure out what that means, but I wanna post consistently on my blog. I wanna create a content making routine. So this is like a routine for the days I'm gonna, and I do this sometimes and then I stop and then I just do whatever feels natural and not stressful for me but i realize i do need to work on my discipline and that is the only way i'm going to be consistent so i want to create a consistent routine and i want to oh okay i want to earn monthly via google adsense and whether this is through my blog or youtube i don't know yet but i this is a goal that I have that I know that I can meet. And so we're gonna to try to get there this year. So these are all of my goals for this year. I'm very excited about it. Like I said, I would love to know, like what are your top three goals that you have going into this year? Please feel free to share. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you in my next video. As always, peace, love, and joy. Bye.